Hi guys, in this video I thought it'd be cool to make a coarse and a fine tuning knob for our contact instruments. And it's actually quite easy to do, but something that a lot of people don't know how to do. So let's get right into it. So I've just made a quick instrument here in contact 4. And this is the tuning knob I'm referring to, the group one. We might be able to apply it to the instrument one as well, but it's the kind of thing you'd usually want to use for your groups and it can be applied or the effect of it can be applied to as many groups as you want so it's quite easy to do let's go into the script editor we'll leave this one open we're going to go into sublime text to actually write the script so we'll start off as we do with most of our scripts we're going to write on in it so we're just going to initialize here i'm assuming you have some level of um, some knowledge at a basic level at least of contact scripting i'm not going to go over the fundamentals here so we're going to declare a variable i, that's our usual um, variable for incrementing a loop. So we'll have that. And we're going to have one called octave. And we're going to have one called uh, semi. And we're going to have one called sent. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some, um, we're going to create three knobs on our interface. And it's going to allow us to tune the octave. Uh, tuned by semitones or tuned by scents. So the next thing we need to do is create three knobs. So we'll do, I'm using the shorthand here to declare a knob. Um, this only works in the Sublime Text Editor and we'll call it KNB Oct. And this can have a range of minus two to plus two and a display ratio of one. So that means we can go down an oct uh, down two octaves or plus two octaves. And we'll set some text for this. And we'll default it to zero. And we'll also set the knob default to zero. Okay, that's the first one done. Let's put a little comment in here. And all we'll do is duplicate this. And we'll change the name. Instead of it saying oct, we're going to have it called semi. I'm using the multiple cursors here in Sublime Text, by the way. You just do that by highlighting. Uh, a, a piece of text and then pressing Control D and every time you press Control D it will select another instance of that text in your document. It's probably Command D on a Mac I would imagine. And we can go minus 12 or plus 12 semitones so we'll just do it like that. And one more knob And we can go, uh, let's see, should we do millicent? We'll do cents. So it'll be minus 100 cents or plus 100 cents. So 100 cents equals one semitone. And I'll just rename that. And we'll just rename that. Okay, now let's um, just compile this. Hit F5, put it into our script into our instrument and there we go we've got the three knobs there this one should go minus two to plus two with a default of zero minus 12 to plus 12 default of zero and minus 100 to plus 100. okay so what we want is when we move this up one to minus one for instance we'd expect the tune knob to go down to minus 12 because that's one octave when we move the I'll set that back. When we move the semitones down to say minus one, we'd expect this to just go down uh, one, like that. And if we were to move the cents down to a hundred, minus a hundred, we'd expect this to go down one, because that's equivalent to a hundred cents. 
So what we've got here is coarse tuning, slightly finer, and then fine tuning. So now let's write the script to implement them. So we're going to make a little function. We're going to call it set tune. And in here, we're going to calculate the octave tuning value, the semi tuning value, and the cent tuning value. So the octave tuning value is equal to 500,000, which is um, half the knob range. The I'll show you. This tuning knob goes from zero to a million. Okay, I know it says minus 36 to 36, but the engine parameter in contact for all knobs, that's any of these, any knobs you have in modulators, any knob, internally the engine parameter goes from zero to a million. So we're going from half that value, 500,000. We're gonna to add to that, I'm gonna put some parentheses here, You'll see why. I'm going to add to that the octave. We're going to minus 3. We're going to multiply that by 12. And then we're going to times that by 13888. And that's going to give us the octave tuning value based on our octave knob. Why do we minus 3? Why do we times it by that? I can't remember. I did this a long time ago. The 12, that's probably because there's 12... Um, semitones in an octave. Okay, let's move on to the semi. That's going to be a similar thing, half the knob value. And then we take the semi value and then we times that by 13888. So that's going to give us a semitone tuning. And finally, the cent tuning is similar, but it's going to be 139 times the actual knob. Now, like I said, I I did this years ago and I can't remember how I came up with these numbers. I probably found them on a forum somewhere. I made up this function. And I just use it when I need it. Uh, if you want to know why those calculations are like that, have a look on Google, go on the forums, but it isn't really important. It works and that's what matters here. So we're going to use a loop now. We're going to use a while loop and what we're going to do is loop around every single group in the instrument so we can control all groups at the same time. If you were going to only apply this to certain groups in your instrument, then this, this is the part where you do something different. So you wouldn't go through all the groups, you'd maybe just loop around the groups that um, you want to apply it to. So we're going to increment I. We're going to use set engine par and we're going to set the tuning parameter. And this is the parameter, this is the engine parameter I was talking about that goes from zero to a million. So we're going to set the value and the value is going to be the octave plus the semitone tuning plus the fine tuning for the scent. The group, this is where you apply it to the group you want to apply it to. So we're just going to apply it to I because we're going I is zero to the number of groups. So it's going to apply it to all groups. The slot is uh, minus one and the generic is minus one also. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that's going to, this function is going to do all the work. What we need to do now is set it up so that our three knobs control uh, call this function. So that's really easy. I'm just going to use the standard UI callback. One for the octave, and we're going to call set tune, and then we're just going to repeat this three times. If you wanted to, you could separate it out so that each um, control had its own function, but this is a straightforward way. They'll all call the same function, so every time it'll update the octave, the, set, the semitone tuning and the scent tuning. So I'm going to hit F5, hopefully no errors. 
copy it into contact, hit apply, again no errors. Okay, so now let's see if these knobs work. So if I move the octave, we should see the tune move. Minus 12, we've gone down one octave. Minus two, it's taken us to minus 24, and we can go up again if we want. Now, this knob actually does go down uh, three octaves, so you could increase that if you wanted to. We've just gone for the two here. Semitones. There we go. Up to 12 semitones. And the scents. Goes up to one semitone. So you could have two and then a half. If we take that down. I'm just holding shift here to get a more accurate value when I move the knob. So there's two and a half, could also take it to negative. So if you've got two semitones, but negative 100 cents, you're only gonna get one semitone. Uh, the reason we only went to two on here, rather than going to three, is because we can make up the other octave with the semitone knob. And the same in the negative numbers. All right, guys, I'll put the full script on screen again if you want to copy that down. But um, hopefully you'll find that useful. You'll be able to work it into your scripts when you want to play with the tuning. And uh, I hope you get lots of um, use out of this little code snippet. All right, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.